Yes, so today we're going to talk about a very important topic called custom query in WordPress. Okay, uh, so actually custom query in WordPress is a very powerful thing that you can achieve a lot of stuff uh, using this, uh, you know, this option. And um, you've got different posts and uh, different data in the database that you can get using the custom query. All right, so let's talk about it. So there is a class that WordPress predefines called WP Query. Okay, and this file is in WP Includes folder. Okay, you'll be able to find uh, class WP Query into this folder. And it's got all the properties and methods that you can use to query into the database and get the content uh, from the database and display it onto your uh, theme. Okay. So let's start with the pretty basic thing. So let's say this is my index.php of my theme that's currently active. I've activated the 2016. I've removed all the other codes except I've got the header, the footer, and that's a div with a heading of WP custom query basics. And then I'm running a loop uh, that you must be familiar of, which is if have post, while have post, the post and then I'm ending it with end while and end if and I'm going to display all the title using the title function of WordPress so if I go on to my WordPress uh, theme and refresh the page I can see that I've got 10 titles that are displayed by the way um, I've actually what I've done is I've uh, downloaded this uh, plugin called Faker Press and I've gone to posts and I've selected like from 3 up until 50 whatever number of posts that I want to create uh, as a dummy post I can do that and then click on generate so that was, that's what I've done and that's how I've been able to get 56 posts uh, over here um, so I think 6 of them were already there and then I got 50 more so this is just to save time and obviously I can't expect you to write 50 posts unless you already have that in your current running website so in case if it's a fresh installation and you know you want to create dummy posts, you can use that. Uh, you can create that by using this plugin Faker Press uh, that you can download. Okay, cool. So for our demonstration purposes, I've uh, got these posts, uh, and then we are displaying just the title. Now, in case let's say you want to display title of more posts, uh, more than ten. So as you know, all we have to do is just go into setting and then reading option in your admin and then change this to 20 okay and then we save it and then if you refresh you can see we've got 20 titles posts that are uh, 20 post titles that have been displayed over here right now this is pretty static because this is going to take effect everywhere you know it's not going to be we don't have a specific option for example if you're client wants that on one page he wants 10 posts on the other page he wants five posts and you know if he wants to do something custom how do we do that and that's where the uh, you know custom query helps us to do that and we can make use of this WP query class uh, methods and properties uh, to run some custom loops and get uh, these custom uh, you know queries to be displayed so you know the easiest method is that uh, we create an object of the WP query and then we pass in arguments and arguments will have the array of the items that we want to display so let's say uh, so there is this website called www.billerrickson.net code WP underscore query dash arguments if you go into this website you can see that the arguments that we are passing to this array what are the options do we have and what do each of the properties and property values mean uh, that we can define while doing a custom query into the database okay so we have like author and then takes one two and three then we have uh, post type that takes either post page revision these are the post types and then post per page how many posts we want to display and things like that so you can take reference of this uh, lovely site uh, that will give you 
a lot of details about what parameters you need to define uh, to minimize the mistakes that we do. Okay, so let's get rid of this code um, because we want to display it uh, but using custom queries. So I've already got my code written right here, so I'm just going to copy and paste that. One moment. Cool. So what we are doing over here, um, we have taken this argument, like I told you earlier, like I explained to you. Uh, we've got arguments as a variable which contains an array, and we are taking two uh, properties, which is post type and post per page. So we go and check. This argument and it's got an array and I'm not picking up everything I'm picking up only the ones we want so post type I'm taking post over here and then post per page is 5 so it's per post per page I will decide how many post uh, items will be displayed how many posts will be accessible into our loop so I put 5 over here and then we are creating an object query using our WP query class okay and then I'm passing this array into it so that it can query it automatically and then I'm running the loop which is while but this time instead of just doing half post we are saying we are trying to access the uh, our object uh, which is query and we're saying because this query object will have all the properties and methods of our WP query class but the reason why we're creating this object is so that uh, the class uh, should have our custom arguments into it otherwise we're just going to get the standard ones so this time the query will be able to you know accept this custom parameters and, and give me the um, custom object okay so I'm trying to access this method have post the post and then end while and then we're using this function WP reset query to reset the post uh, loop and then all we are displaying is just the title uh, okay so let's go ahead and save that and go back to our site and refresh the page and as you can see we just got the um, five posts okay I think we have skipped something one second yeah we don't have to delete the H4 just the heading There you go. <clears throat> so we've got a heading also. Cool. Okay, so that's how we get the five posts per page. Okay. All right. And if, if the client wants you to display 20 posts, you can just put 20. And then refresh it. You can see 20. 20 titles. Okay. Now, um, if he goes ahead and um, tells you that you know I want one featured post to be displayed first and then I want the rest of the four posts at the bottom so how do we do that so for that all we can do is just you know post per page we can just put one so let's say we've got this one post as our featured post which is this one this title and then he wants us to display uh, the rest of the four posts as well so all we can do is just copy this paste it down and change this to five okay and we'll just differentiate this with a br tag let's, let's put two br Alright, so this, you can see that this is our featured post that our client wants us to display and then he wants to display the rest of the posts like, you know, uh, four more posts over here. But if you see, even this post is coming and he doesn't want that. He doesn't want the featured post to be coming into the rest of the section. So how do we get rid of this? So for that, if you go back to our 
site uh, you will be able to find uh, a property name called post not in okay so all we're going to do is just copy this post not in and into the next set of arguments we're going to put that and obviously we need this number that you see over here in fact these all numbers these are IDs you know use post IDs now we don't know what post ID is that so either the first way is to check by going on to your admin and you know probably checking over here as to which post ID it is right somewhere over here uh, like it's got 177 so either we can statically mention 177 that don't include the 177 post and that should do the work see it's gone yep however and then change this to four post or five post whatever you know yep however we want to do this dynamically so what we can do is um, in this loop we can just open a PHP tag and we can write featured post ID is equal to okay so WordPress as a part of this object class um, it provides us the variable post and then we can get the access of what ID this post is using the ID property okay so you can see so featured post when this loop is being run it's going to give me uh, the ID of this post the one we are displaying so featured post ID will have the ID if we go ahead and echo out this featured post ID you can see that we've got 177 as the post ID okay and uh, then um, all right so all we have to do now is instead of putting 177 statically we can put this dynamically as the featured post ID okay So let's try that that works perfect it's working okay cool so that's what we need to do uh, to display it if you want to display a, a featured post um, first and then the rest of the posts here okay um, you can also pass in more IDs over here in case if you don't want um, you know the other post to be shown as well okay Okay, uh, next thing we can try out before we end this part of the video is that what if uh, the client wants to change the order of these posts that is being displayed. So by default, WordPress would display the post, uh, the latest post first and then followed by the other ones. However, if you want to change that order and reverse it, what we can do is we have another parameter if you go over here onto other site you can see that it's order and descending and ascending so by default um, it is actually descending but you know we can change to ascending so let's try that so into our arguments and where we are displaying four posts we can pass in another argument which is order and we put that as um, so I think by default it should be descending itself we'll just check yeah by default it's descending so let's change that to ascending a s c and that should reverse the order see that okay cool so that's that's about it for this video and uh, in the next video we're going to learn more how to perform more you know uh, examples with the custom query okay thank you very much take care bye bye